Hey, you clicked on this video because you want to lose weight. So like most people, you want to get rid of your love handles, you want to get lean and say bye-bye to fat. But with all the misinformation and conflicting advice on the internet, losing weight can be difficult, hard, complex, complicated, annoying, and more frustrating than eating a bowl of soup with a knife. Today I'm going to be discussing, based on science, the number one thing you must do to lose weight. And just a heads up, this one thing is not flashy, sexy, or marketable, which is why it often gets lost in the sea of fitness information. And without further ado, the number one thing you must do to lose weight is to be in a caloric deficit, meaning you have to take in less calories than you burn. It means weight loss ultimately comes down to calories in versus calories out. Now, to be clear, I'm not saying calories in versus calories out is all that matters, but it is the most important aspect of weight loss. This is not even my opinion. This is a fact based on science. As you can see here, this study concludes energy intake, aka calorie intake, is the key determinant of weight. So no, the answer to your lack of weight loss is not avoiding sugar, eating six small meals a day, or eating a special diet. These things can potentially help you get in a deficit, but they are not the main cause of weight loss. The main cause of weight loss will always be a caloric deficit. Here's a study showing sugar doesn't matter for weight loss. It's about calories. One group ate nearly half their calories in sugar, and the other group ate practically no sugar at all but both groups lost about the same amount of weight because calories were equal. Eating more meals isn't the key to weight loss either. Here's a study showing that as long as total calories are the same, weight loss is the same. It always comes back down to total calories. Regardless of the diet you do or the training you partake in, being in a caloric deficit is an absolute must in order to lose weight. Science has consistently shown this for a long time, but it's not very marketable, thus it doesn't get much exposure. You'd be surprised how many people in the fitness industry do not understand this concept. There are even those that will say calories don't matter at all. You should avoid listening to these people more than the average person avoids listening to Nickelback. Now, let's get into the meat of this video so we can better understand how to get into a caloric deficit to lose weight. So first, let's explain what a calorie is because chances are, your local trainer has been explaining it wrong this whole time. A calorie is not a nutrient. It is a unit of measurement to measure energy. The macronutrients we eat being protein, carbs, fat, and alcohol all contain energy that can be stored or used for fuel. Throughout the day, you take in energy as well as expend energy, more commonly referred to as burn energy. If you burn more energy, aka calories, than you take in, you will be in a caloric deficit resulting in weight loss. <laughs> because of all the confusing sciencey terms people use, I just wanted to clarify that a caloric deficit is the same thing as a calorie deficit, as an energy deficit, a negative energy balance, or a hypocaloric state. You will hear all of these terms being used and people tend to use the one that makes them sound the most intelligent. But just remember, they're all the same thing, meaning you take in less calories than you burn. We take in our energy from food, which as I already mentioned is measured in calories. This side of the equation is pretty simple, but when we get to the other side of the equation, things get a little bit more complex. Don't worry though, I'm gonna break it down very simply. So the amount of calories you burn are broken into four parts. The first part is your resting metabolic rate. This is the calories you burn doing literally nothing. People that are heavier or have more muscle tend to have higher resting metabolic rates. This accounts for about 50 to 60% of your total energy expenditure. The next is exercise. This is how much you burn during exercise and it accounts for about five to 30% of total energy expenditure. The third aspect is NEAT. NEAT stands for non-exercise activity thermogenesis. It's basically all the activity you do outside of exercise and accounts for about five to 30% of total energy expenditure. Activities that would be considered NEAT are things like walking, fidgeting, cleaning, and stalking your ex on Instagram. But seriously, do not use this video as an excuse to stalk your ex on Instagram. Scrolling doesn't burn that many calories. 
Anyways, the last aspect is the thermic effect of food, which can also be considered to be under the umbrella of your resting metabolic rate. The thermic effect of food is how many calories you burn just from digestion. It's a beautiful thing that our bodies actually burn extra calories in the digestion process. This makes up about 5 to 10% of total calorie expenditure and is affected depending on what you eat. Let's get back to the calories in versus calories out equation. To lose weight, the calories you burn on the right side must exceed the calories you consume on the left side over a period of time. I will be making more videos on practical ways to do this in the future, but for now, I'll leave you with two options. Here's option one. You can simply track calories consistently for a few weeks. If you lose weight, then that's great. Keep eating that same number. If the scale doesn't move at all after a few weeks, you can try reducing the total calories you eat or increasing the total calories you burn by exercising more or walking more. That's option one. Option two is that you can apply for one-on-one -on -one online coaching with me where you will be fast-tracked towards the exact weight loss you want without any frustration or complex calculations. Regardless, stay tuned for future videos. Thank you for watching. Please share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll see you next time, my friends. Peace.